Welcome to my YouTube channel, this is David Samuel and for this particular video, we will be discussing the introduction to logo design. So, if you are a graphic designer or an aspiring graphic designer, I want you to take this video seriously, watch from the beginning to the end because you will be needing all of these information I will be sharing with you guys shortly. So now, so many persons are not well schooled when it comes to logo design. They take all that stuff seriously, they take all that thing seriously, but when it comes to logo design, they think they can just have shallow knowledge and jump into the market, which is not supposed to be so. So now, follow me carefully as I'll, as I'll be showing you through what logo design is, what logo design is all about. So follow me carefully. What is a logo? What is even a logo? You have been hearing logo, logo, logo for a long time now. So many of you cannot even define a logo, but you, you just feel you know. So now pay attention to what I've written out to you guys. Now a logo is a visual symbol or design that represents. First, represents. So if you have anything you call the logo that is not representing your brand, is disqualified from being the logo. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So if you have anything at all which you think is a logo and is not representing your brand. I said I it has been disqualified from being a logo. I don't know if you understand. So now, meaning the primary aim of a logo is to represent a brand. Is to represent not just the brand. It is to represent. So a logo that is not representing is not a logo. Has lost its um, potency as a logo. So, like I was saying before that represents a brand, company, or individual is this often distinctive image or icon that helps identify and differentiate the entity it represents. So, number two, differentiate. If your logo does not differentiate you from your competitors, if your logo does not differentiate you from other brands, if your logo does not, if your logo does not have the capacity to set you aside, from other persons doing what you are the same thing you are doing or doing separate stuff, then it's not a logo. Imagine Mercedes Benz and Toyota using the same logo. Is that actually a logo? If two brands are using one singular icon, that icon is no longer a logo. Because a logo is meant to differentiate. So, what are you differentiating if two brands are using one icon? So, it's not possible. So, your logo is meant to differentiate you. That is why a quack shouldn't handle your logo design if you are a business person. I don't know if you understand. So this is how important a logo is. This is how serious a logo is. A logo is meant to differentiate you. It's meant to set you aside. It's meant to, to isolate you from the rest. So if your logo is not doing all of this, then it's no it's not a logo it has lost its potency as a logo it's not a logo so a logo is meant to set you aside like i say then logos can include elements such as tests images or combination of both that is both test images and they are key they are a key part of a brand's visual identity yes those elements are key part of brands um, visual elements so you can see how serious the logo is so many persons don't know this they just jump into any icon miss icons together and call it a logo some persons even go ahead to download used icons and add their client's name to it and deliver it as their design which is very wrong because imagine over 2,000 persons going that going to that same site to download that same icon imagine over 2,000 brands choosing the same icon that is confusion so it's not supposed to be so so i hope you are getting me clearly so now let's move to the next one the importance of a logo i've highlighted some importance of logo so some importance or importances of logo so you can see and learn from number one i said to build trust and recognition your logo is important because it helps you build trust so it helps you build trust. Now, you see why I say it helps you build trust. For example, you are going for something that requires you to pay, and on that, so you're, maybe you are contemplating whether to pay, 
wait or not to pay or maybe you have maybe you are thinking if these people i'm just laying an example i'm stating an example for example um you are going for or you are about paying for something and you are scared whether it is legit or not so let's say you see something like nasda nasda or you see something like what is it called you see something like toyota logo at the down part and you see something like sponsored by toyota apple mercedes and the rest of that if you start seeing those stuff will you i think if you are honest with yourself in, um enough you you discover that it will raise your your assurance there's this confidence you have that it can never be a scam if it's a scam toyota will never be involved so that is that is um trust you have trust in those brands you have trust in those brands there are some logo you see on any sponsors ad you con like you conclude that this particular stuff can never be a scam why trust so that is what your logo is meant to do for you your logo is meant to build trust into your brand is meant to build trust for your brand in the minds of your customers and if you're a designer you are meant to infuse trust into a logo you are meant to infuse trust into a logo for your client you shouldn't design something and it's looking like it's this way you design something and and the design itself will be looking like a thief sorry to use that word but you know i i just hope you understand what i'm talking about so that is it your logo is meant to to build trust in the mind of your customers and if you're a designer your the logo you're designing for your client you are meant to infuse trust into it so that their customers can see trust in that brand then number two i said to create brand identity so a logo is a key element when it comes to brand identity it's a key element a core element when it comes to brand identity so a logo can never um or just say the usefulness of a logo can never be overemphasized when it comes to brand identity so your logo is important when it comes to brand identity then number three i said facilitate brand recall what do i mean by facilitate brand recall facilitate brand recall in this particular um in this particular concept or in this particular context sorry means it helps people remember your brand it, it helps them recall your brand let's make use of okay, let's make an instance using apple anyway you see apple at the back of the phone at the back of the phone they don't need to tell you that this is an iphone before you believe why their brain has already been structured to record a brand because of their logo so a logo is meant to facilitate your br your brand recall is meant to facilitate brand recall people need to remember your brand immediately they see that logo so if the design or the logo you are designing is not conveying all of this stuff then it's not a logo then the fourth one convey brand values so convey brand values in this aspect number one if you are designing for a kiddies academy if you're designing a logo for a kiddies academy you should know that a kiddies academy logo maybe a daycare um a crash and the rest of that if you're designing anything at thought that's related to children you should know that it shouldn't be that serious it should be colorful it should be playful and the rest of that so if you put all these things into place that is you trying to communicate or convey the brand values that is you trying to convey the, the brand value so that is what i mean if you are designing a kiddies academy logo maybe you are designing something related to children and you're using very serious font or you're using black as the color then you are not conveying that, that brand value you are not conveying that brand value student stuff needs to be playful i'm using student stuff as an example so student stuff needs to be needs to be playful it's supposed to be playful colorful you can see if go and browse after this video you discover that majority of those student stuff you used to see students clothes students anything even if it's their storybook is very colorful that is to drag their attention to draw their attention so if you don't have all these things in place 
your logo is not conveying the brand values then the last one differentiate from, from competitors differentiate from competitors. your logo is meant to set you aside your logo is meant to differentiate you. your logo is meant to to set you apart your logo is meant to single-handedly pick you out of the crowd that is if they have if there are 50 persons selling something you are supposed to be different among them that is what your logo is meant to do for you so now let's okay let's call it done from the importance of a logo let's go to examples of well-known logos you can see google adidas um coca-cola apple um i've forgotten this one then facebook mc donuts nike and amazon you can see these are well-known logos and you can see they are still relevant to your date they are still relevant to your date so that is now i think the last thing i would like to show you guys is this if you have ever called this a logo i want you to repent immediately you watch this video i want you to repent immediately this stuff here i don't even know what to call it this stuff here is not a logo it has never been a logo and it will never be a logo this is not a logo don't mind people doing it i know people are doing it the main purpose of mock-up is not for this trash the main purpose of these are mock-ups okay these are no mock-ups well. these are designs placed on a mock-up the mock-ups are meant for presentation of design jobs not this this trash or no i don't even know how to call it not this kind of stuff so if you have been thinking or if you have ever thought that this is called the logo this is never called the logo and if you're a business person and you have this as your logo then i want you to repent this evening i want you to repent immediately you finish watching this video this is not a logo it has never been and it will never be so save yourself the stress by on learning this time and relearning again this is not a logo this is not a logo don't do this for people if you are not yet good in design stop it don't do this for people and call it a logo don't do this for people and call it a logo and you don't as a business person don't pay anybody to do this thing for you this is not a logo and you never be so i hope you have gotten value enough value from this video please do well to for, uh, to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video Comment on this video and share with your loved ones. Thank you so much.